Now to the moving memorial for a victim of the El Paso shooting and the husband who asked for help. You may have seen this grieving picture of Antonio Basco losing his wife of 22 years in that mass shooting. His invitation to the public and what it inspired thousands of strangers showing up to pay their respects. Here's ABC's Kaylee Hartom. A community ripped apart by tragedy. Tonight, united as one family. El Paso coming out in force to support this man, Antonio Bosco, burying his wife of 22 years. She's one of us. That's why. Antonio's wife, Margie Ricard, was grocery shopping at Walmart on August 3rd when a gunman opened fire, taking 22 lives. Antonio feared he would mourn his devastating loss alone. These images capturing his sorrow and the nation's attention. A man suddenly widowed, left with no other family, inviting anyone to attend his late wife's memorial service. Last night, El Pasoans arrived by the thousands to support him. We didn't know Margie, but I had to tell my family we have to be there as a family, all of us. They waited for hours outside in the heat. We love you. Get out of the oh, thank you. For just a few moments with Antonio. I love you, Owen. The community promising him they will be there for him. As united that El Paso is and as strong as El Paso is, well, we, we will heal. Antonio tonight overcome by grief and gratitude. I love El Paso and I'm glad to be your family. Tonight, all 22 victims of the massacre in El Paso now laid to rest. Thanks to the generosity of this community, none of the victims' families paid a cent in funeral costs. Wit. An inspiring show of support. Kaylee, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.